the last time you were with us, this was a very different scene. It was a building site, because in lockdown, we just felt the Lord speak and encourage us to, to build somewhere where the community can feel at home, where we can interact and reach out to the community around us. And so after a long journey, uh, the building has now been completed. We are here, we've been here for five months, and slowly but surely, we have both restarted ministries that we had operating, and we've started new ministries. And what the Lord has done is remarkable, because he is a good God, he's a big God. This, uh, this week, for example, um, we will have a, a lunch club on a Monday where the elderly are fed and have company and support and just the love and connection that they need. Uh, we have a Renew Wellbeing session. It's a cafe, it's a place where craft and activities happen, where the lonely, those that are struggling, can come and have a safe place. We like to say that it's a place where it's okay to not be okay that all are welcome. The other thing we're doing is food bank uh, and we're having a distribution centre and, and that has just gone from strength to strength, a slow start, but now we're regularly feeding uh, families in the double figures um, because there is a real need out there and tragically I think the need will get greater. We have a toddlers group uh, which is a support to young mums and, and dads and also we have a youth club where every Friday we have a large number of young people, both from the church, but more interestingly, a large percentage from outside of the church uh, who come and just want to spend time and be here. When, when we felt the Lord speak and call, we had less than 30% of the money that we needed. Now that's a big gap. And over many months, uh, we had offerings from the church, we had special gift days, and the church was generous and responded. We applied to a number of Christian charities. We shared our vision. And over the season of the rebuild, slowly but surely, never came all at once but little bits every so often we had the provision of god and i'm delighted to say that god is faithful god has proved himself to us and throughout this whole process we now have a, a building complete with all the bills paid and we are debt free there was never a moment where we had to borrow any money and i just found it personally a huge journey of faith. There were a number of times where I thought, Lord, where are you? And we prayed and we prayed and we just sought the Lord. And surely and slowly and inevitably, the money came in. And so I can stay, say here confidently that God's work done God's way will never lack God's provision. And I'm here to glorify God and say what a mighty God he is, that when he has spoken, he's provided all the resources and the funding we need. And to be debt free and have an extended building and refurbished is just testimony to God's goodness and God's grace. We're now looking for the next step because there's lots of need and there's lots of things that we can get involved in. Eventually, we may need to look at bigger premises. Eventually, we'll be looking to plant churches. Our God is on the move. Our God has never tasted defeat. And so it's important that we have faith in God because he is a big God and that he is building his kingdom. The thing that has motivated us throughout all of this is broken lives made new. We live in a broken world and it's so important that we're in the rescue business. We're so important that we are restoring. And that's what God does. He rescues and he restores. And to be a part of that is the greatest calling.